Welcome back to the Sermon on the Bobcast. I'm Jesse here with Bryce. And I'm going to start us off with the breakfast menu. Uh, Monday, February 5th, there will be no school. Tuesday, February 6th, is omelet. Wednesday, February 7th, is donut. Thursday, February 8th, is breakfast sandwich. And Fridays, February 9th, is long johns. And the lunch menu. Monday, February 5th, no school. Tuesday, February 6th, cream chicken and biscuit and mashed potatoes. Fruit and veggie bar. Wednesday, February 7th, deli sandwich, chips, fruit and veggie bar. Thursday, February 8th, corn dogs, small fries, and fruit and veggie bar. Friday, February 9th, hamburger, french fries, chocolate cake, fruit and veggie bar. And high school, there is a sign-up sheet in the office for those interested in taking driver's ed this summer. Please sign up by February 15th. The cost of the course is $325 per student. Those prices have gone up because... I thought it was free when I did it, but apparently my mom just paid for it. Juniors, check your email to sign up to work concessions for post-prom at NBC Finals on Saturday, February 3rd. Feel bad for you. For those students who took driver's ed last summer, you have to get your driver's permit number to Mr. Gary Davis before you go to the DMV office to get a license and be prepared because they hate everything and they will be very slow and hard to get along with. And youth wrestling practices, Monday and Thursday nights from 6.15 to 7.15 for grades 3rd through 8th. Tuesday nights from 6.15 to 7 is pre-K to 2nd grade. And seniors, as you are getting your senior pictures back, would you please send a photo to abbyfunk at summerwellbobcats.org for the senior pictures page. For the daily quote today, it is, Perfection is attained by slow degrees. It requires the hand of time. Use uh, fresh fruit and veggie program, February 6th, snap peas, coding club, Mondays after school until 4.30 p.m. during second semester, fifth and sixth grade. Sports and activities, Summerland will be live streaming games through Huddle TV this year. You can download the app called Team One Sports, click NEB and search Summerland. You can Google Huddle TV and in the upper right search Summerland Bobcats and click video. You can also use the link below. Uh, for games this week, we have Friday, February 2nd, which is today, girls wrestling, which is sub-districts at Westholt at 1, Saturday, Saturday, February 3rd, NBC Finals at Summerlin, girls Summerlin versus Niagara slash Fertigree at 2, uh, boys Summerlin at Westholt, 6.30, special meet, or speech meet at Westholt, Stanton. Junior High Honor Band and Choir leave at 6:45. Boy wrestling, boys wrestling at Wakefield, Monday, February 5th. No school. Uh, PT conference at 2:30. Tuesday, it's free day. No sports. Wednesday, February 7th. Donuts with dudes at 7:45 a.m. Pre-K through 6, 2:45 p.m. Thursday, February 8th, basketball at EPPJ, JV girls at 4.45 in the Ox Gym, JV boys at 4.30 in the Main Gym, varsity girls 6 o'clock, varsity boys at 7.30, Friday the 9th, girls wrestling districts at York. And I'll take over from then, Friday the 9th also has Husker business competition, basketball at Summerlin versus Lutheran High, JV girls, JV boys, varsity girls, varsity boys, and Senior Parents Night around 6.30. Saturday, February 10th is the Boys Wrestling District at Pleasanton. The speech meet will be at Wausau on Saturday. And there's a youth basketball tournament. And stay tuned for Chase's Elementary Podcast. Thank you very much. I'm Rayleigh Meyer here with... Kaya Alaming. And I'm Sophia Fruit. And, and we're, we're the podcast. podcast. Let's start with the birthday shout outs. Happy birthday this week to 1st grader Elena Willoughby, 4th grader Lily Onik, 1st grader Reed Teal, 2nd grader Samantha Dermis, 2nd grader Claire Snodgrass. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Now for Miss Myers, keep the quote. We do not have a winner to announce, but the quote is, The book is called Opportunity, and its first chapter is January. This quote is a reminder for all of us to start this new year off with some kindness. On Monday morning, Motivation, Mrs. Cooper actually had us all set a goal for the, ourselves this semester. What was your guys' goal? Mine was to be a nice friend and pay attention in class. And mine was to help a friend in need and clean up the cat classroom. Those are some good goals. Mine is to get good grades and not interrupt the teacher. 
And now for some elementary classroom highlights. For the 100th day of school, the kindergartners had a spy lab where they had to solve 100, 100 mysteries to find who stole Zero the Hero. The second grade classrooms did a lot of activities for the 100th day. They wrote about what they will be doing or what they will look like when they are 100. They even wrote 100 rhyming words. That's a lot of words that rhyme. The second graders also talked about what they would do if they had $100. If I had $100, I would buy new jeans. If I had $100, I would save it. What about you, Sophia? I would buy some ice cream, but then give the rest of it to someone in need. In the first grade classrooms, they also did a lot of 100 theme activities. They flipped a coin a hundred times, they came up with a hundred words, and had to complete time tasks of a hundred seconds. They also had to bring a hundred items to school. My brother's in first grade, he brought a hundred pennies. Let's take a look at the, the calendar for this week. Monday, February 5th, no, no school. Parent-teacher conferences are from 2.30 to 7 o'clock. No code club. Tuesday, February 6th. Both third and fourth grade girls, as well as fifth and sixth grade girls, have basketball practice from 6.30 through 8 p.m. Donuts with Dudes is on Wednesday, February 7th at, at breakfast for all pre-K through 6, except afternoon pre-K. It starts at 2.30 that afternoon. Thursday, February 8th, fifth and sixth grade girls have basketball practice after school starting at 4 o'clock until 5.30. Saturday, February 10th, and Sunday, February 11th, is the Summerland Youth Bas Basketball Tournament that has been rescheduled. Good luck to both boys and girls teams that are competing. Now, time for some jokes. Have you guys heard any good jokes lately? Why did the old man fall in the well? Because he couldn't see that well. Where do pirates buy their hooks from? A second-hand store. Knock, knock. Who's there? Broken pencil. Broken pencil who? Never mind. It's pointless. Well, that's all for this week. Remember, friends, to choose kindness, act responsibly, treat others with respect, and stay safe. I'm Rayleigh Meyer. And I'm Kaya Allen. And I'm Sophia Fruits. And, and we're the, the podcast. podcast.